Dude, this is so cool. Oh, just never mind me, Mr. Big the Foot. I feel like this knight could really go after Big the Foot. Or, you might just have a big, giant skeleton. God, he looks so mad. And we have a Pennywise and a unicorn with undies on it. But let's not forget about you, Mr. Kruger. What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in my hometown. And as a continuation of this Haunt Season series, Sorry, there's an ambulance going by. But anyway, as I was saying, as you can see behind me, there is a big, giant skeleton. Isn't it neat? Well, you guys, here in Cleveland, Tennessee, there is an antique store that is absolutely awesome. It's got stuff that is both historical, macabre, oddities, all of it. So today, you guys, we are going to go inside Mora's Antiques and let me show you all what they have. It is so cool. So let's get to it. Anchor down. But before we do, I just wanted to note that half of Mora's Antiques used to be a walk-in, well, medical clinic. So they still have some of that that is left over. Let's get inside, shall we? Looks like we have a Baby Yoda right there. And some kind of bumblebee. You know, this is a really cool place. When you see Star Wars toys hanging from the ceiling. And dude, just check that out. That is an old school witch's painting. Welcome indeed. Welcome indeed. And hello, Baby Yoda. You know what? I need that for my apartment one day. This dude, that is awesome. But, I would not want to kick him or him because I'm just wearing sandals. And I guess you could say this is Lady the Foot and Mr. Frog. And I love that. That that just kind of throws in there that old school, uh, old school haunted house vibe. Maybe one day I should buy that. Huh? And they have an old school Walt Disneyland picture souvenir and a lot of uh, what do you call them? Postcards. Yeah, those things. A lot of really really cool furniture. A lot of really really cool nifty things in here. Just check out those those wine dispenser guns. Really cool old writing desk. I wouldn't mind having that. We cannot forget Mr. Antelope. I don't think that's an antelope. That's got to be something else. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Check that out. That is an old school typewriter. Old, old clocks. Wow, this is gorgeous. Hey, they got some old school chains. Now, I would love to have that. That is an old school Jaws board game. Oh, wow. Look at these old school toys. Honestly, they are a little bit creepy. Ooh, check this out, you guys. They've got a gremlin skull, fossilized tooth, beehive. I think that's made out of milky quartz. Shark jaw. Ooh, a whale tooth. Of course, at least we not forget a rattlesnake and a piranha. And a lot of cattle bones. Still cool though. Cool bet. And I guess you could say that is taxidermy done right. That is, but that is really freaky. Again, reminds me of an old school haunted house. 
Oh, cool. It's an alligator. Well, another bat. Betty. That baby doll is a little bit strange, so we're gonna walk away. Oh, dude, check that out. Look at the cattle bones hanging from the wall. Oh, cool. You know, it's peaceful, but I like it. I just check out that old school Halloween memorabilia. That is so cool. There's just something about these type of antique stores that is just makes them awesome. Like, dude, check that out. That is an old school phone booth. Well, phone operator's booth, I believe. Old school phone. Another one. But I don't have $695. That's, that's scary. Very very scary. Now, I would not mind having it if I had the money. Looks like they got an old school train light. At least we cannot forget Star Wars and Urkel. Did I do that? Actually, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Toy Story Mr. Piggy like that. Kind of like Star Wars mixed in with Toy Story. Really awesome though. Well, that is an interesting figure. Cause that lady's having fun. Really cool old uh, map right there. Really interesting robot there. I just love like old roadside art like or folk art, I guess it would be. I think it'd be folk art. Just took out that little rocket there. And again, another old school typewriter. I'd say that, uh, that mirror has definitely seen better days. Huh. wonder when the last time when that was used. Oh, dude. Frankenstein. Again, another old school Halloween prop. Oh, I like this. Check out that old church podium. That is really, really pretty. A lot of crosses. A lot of pretty crosses. Really, really old school Bible, too. That's pretty. Oh, now this is cool. Check that out. That, oh, I might have to get that eventually. That is really, really pretty. And again, they have more bald cypress stump chairs. Well, table. That is really, really cool, though. Well, oh, check that out, you guys. That is an official whiskey steal. But I don't think it's a steal because it's like eight hundred and ninety five dollars so I think I'm just gonna sit here and admire it from afar I dig that I really dig that looks like they have uh, a lot of coke memorabilia here yes I said memorabilia I meant memorabilia but I do Dig you, Mr. Alien. You are really cool, but I don't have the money to afford you. Dude, check out that Coca-Cola sign. That is so neat. But you know what? For the time being, let's go outside. Let's see what they have here. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, this is gonna be so neat. Dude. I got an old school basketball net and a cracked drum head. Really, really cool plant. Oh, I know what this is. This is an old school washer. That is so neat. Look like, it looks like they have some old school, uh, kind of an old school playground type deal. Or maybe something for the yard. I think that's something for the yard. Um, a bird bath. Old milk jugs, check that out. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Old motorcycle, oh look, it's an old motorcycle frame. Yes. I wonder if that, 
that mill works or whatever you call it uh wind windmill wind i think it's windmill i think Ooh, but check out this cool old coca-cola machine well if i had the money to get that i would buy it especially this old school refrigerator because really you don't see this stuff anymore really really epic a lot of cool oh look oh look oh look it's an old crystal sign oh my goodness yes it's just like all these knickknacks are so amazing or maybe it's just me being simple a lot of old fans like my old fans <laughs> that's bad uh, an old clock dude look at that check out that clock they even have some, well, old uh, spoon mill. Sp spoon? Spoon? Anyway, I think it's on some kind of spoon wind chime. Really cool old driftwood. Oh, oh, look, I like that old Volkswagen head. That's really, really epic. You know what? I wish more people knew about this. Cause this place is so cool i come here just about every every other day Ooh, it looks like we found the alien's cousin in another really really old school halloween prop although it is made out of concrete and honestly he looks like he has a headache a bowling ball headache a split okay i'm gonna quit that is also really cool. A handmade, or maybe I should say, maybe welded skeleton. That is really, really awesome. Oh, cool. Look at the old. Those are a lot of bicycle wheels. And dude, I love the cauldrons. Check that out. You just don't see this kind of stuff anymore. Especially like this old school um, water faucet. You see back then, you used to have to use cold water, then hot water, or cold water, hot water whenever you wanted to brush up or shower up. Probably shower up. Dude, I just love this kind of folk art stuff. <laughs> I love it, but I, don't, I probably don't have the money to get it at the moment. But, East Assured, this place is probably the coolest, most, uh, oh cool look, um, they got old school, uh, old school lumberjack blades. This is probably the coolest, most unusual antique store in the city of Cleveland. And my my, those are quite a few sewing machines. And Mr. Bigfoot, he, he looks rather anxious, so I'll leave him alone. Let's go back inside and see what else I have. Oh my goodness, check this out, you guys. Well. Oh. Oh, cool. It's, it's an actual little red caboose that moves. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's only $250. Looks like they got some old school bikes. That's pretty neat. They got a billy bass. Take me to the river. Soak me in the water. Oh wow. You guys gotta check this out. Oh, they have everything. Check it out. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's real. I might have to come back for that one. Get a very expensive shell. And a coat of arms. Oh, I don't know, let's see what's... Oh, you guys gotta check this out. Look at all this black light stuff. Oh, 
god, this is so neat. You know, this really, really reminds me of, um, of Rock City. We'll probably go there in a later vlog, but check that out. Yes, this is someone's booth. All this is for sale. I really don't know what this stuff is made out of, but it's very fluorescent. And well, go Gators. Oh my goodness. Now this is what the hunt season is about. Again, an old school prop. Although, that looks just a little bit creepy if you ask me. But dude, dude, if I could have a house set up or decorated for Halloween like this, I would definitely, well, quite frankly, huh, which King of Angmar mask, I would definitely buy this entire booth because it's just so ghoulish, especially for this type of vlog we're doing, you guys, in the haunt season. That is just so macabre, but I love it. It's just so interesting. He's smiling. It's so neat. Though, that baby doll looks a little bit creepy, so I think we're gonna keep walking. But you know, this also kind of reminds me of um, of the Graveface Museum in, uh, in Savannah, Georgia. Wouldn't it be so weird if somehow they <laughs> were attached or somehow affiliated with this booth? That would be so nifty. You know, this kind of puts off a Halloween 3 kind of vibe, and that is ghoulish. That is a mummified deer head. I can't say I've seen the one like that before, but we're gonna keep moving. You know, I kind of wonder if something's going to go down between Santa and Frankenstein. Probably not. So let's keep walking. But dude, as I say, this place has everything. Got a really nifty Darth Vader right there and a handmade Edwalk. Now, ooh, and a, well, I would say not a handmade Wookiee, but... Okay, guys, this is where it gets very interesting. You see, at the beginning of the vlog, I told you about how at one point part of Mora's Antiques was a part of a walk-in clinic, medical clinic. Well, this that you all see now is, um, is what used to be the waiting room. Why I know this is back in 2014, I had to get a tetanus shot here. And I remember this right here, where you see a lot of really cool knickknacks. This was the um, this was the um, kind of like where people or receptionists would take your money and they would take you back. But back to the store, we would go. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this used to be one of the rooms that they'd take you back into to take care of you. But that is a very interesting ostrich egg right there. I do have one somewhere at my dad's house. But yes, I remember they took me back. I can't remember which room it was. There's another big the foot. And another, well, that is a big hand. And that is a really, really cool Egyptian statue. Sorry, I lost track of time. But, if I'm not mistaken, I could probably tell you all which room they took me back into. Which we'll probably get to it in a second, but... Check that out, that is so neat. Oh, this is so cool. A lot of really cool old school military memorabilia well I probably won't say those guns still work but I do like the old school 
toys and well the old school military photos and they even have a little Donald Trump we will build a wall I can't tell if that is Mitt Romney or George Bush but it looks like they have an oh that is really cool an old school Navy fighter hat Uncle Sam and Abe Lincoln. And a really, really old cool map. Kind of looks like an old Revolutionary War soldier, too. I mean, honestly, I could probably keep going on forever. Huh, crutches. About this booth. It's one of my favorites. They even have, like, an old school plane top and a vintage aircraft torpedo. You just don't see that kind of stuff every day, you know? All right, you guys, I believe it was in this room that they took me back and they gave me my shot in. I believe, don't get me wrong. Huh, a fox, that is, that is very, very cool. Um, huh, and, and a muskrat too. Ooh, and that's pretty. That is really, really, gorgeous let's continue to go down the hall shall we now I remember I did use the bathroom because I had to use the bathroom that day and it was through these doors I do remember that and a big foot and some kind of monkey thing some spider evil monkey thing really oh old school banjo old school trumpet really really old school uh record player oh yes this is oh my goodness this is well I know I've already said it a bajillion times already but they have so much cool stuff and I wanted to show you this guys this to you guys real quick this is an old x-ray machine Let's see if I'm not mistaken I believe that they also had to do x-rays on my arm just to make sure there wasn't like anything in my bone which really, it just turned out to be a spider bite, which, you know, it kind of hurt, kind of not. But again, it's very nifty, very cool, very artistic and otherworldly. I think I'm going to walk out of here right now. Yes. And this used to be the old x-ray room. But now, it looks like a garage. A lot of really, really cool stuff. A lot of stuff that, you know, if I ever get an apartment here in the not-so-distant future, I'd probably turn this into a man cave. Probably. Probably. It's like they got an old-school Michelin man. And a pinball machine. And, well, it looks like a stand-up of an old oil tank. It's a worm. They have a lot of old school Cherokee pottery. A lot of that is honestly worth a pretty penny. Really pretty penny. Oh. That is really cool. And the baby with the, uh, the conductor's hat. I think that's a Messianic hat right there too. All right, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed that just as much as I did. You see, this is why I consider this to be the most interesting antique store in the entire city of Cleveland. And possibly, well, within about a hundred mile radius. The only other really cool antique store like this would be in Chattanooga. That's like, so actually, yeah, about a 50 mile radius, but none come close to this in my hometown. But anyway, you guys, this is going to be it for another vlog. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It means to go, well, it means to show, well, it goes to show, I should say, that y'all care. It means a lot on my journey here on YouTube. But anyway, you guys, love y'all very much. Vlog over.